okay now comes to the conditional construct so if it is raining umbrella is required okay if it is raining umbrella is required then in the same way you can incorporate the decision making technique in java programming language one is if construct if else construct another is switch construct to create a decision making construct we are using the three thing if construct if else and switch construct if construct execute the statement based upon the specified condition okay so if execute the statement based upon the condition if first condition if your condition is true then statement within the e block is execute if your condition is false then there is no statement is execute so this is the work of your if construct now check that so i will define one program as i define class conditional example then string here yes suppose now I define here int a is equals to ten. If a value is greater than a value is greater than ten, greater than zero, then it is showing you. System dot out dot print ln the
the number is positive only that condition i have passed file Not Java. Java C Sorry, conditional. Condition. Okay, the number is positive. If I pass minus ten. So it is not showing you anything. Means if your condition is false, it doesn't show any value. If your condition is true, then it is showing you a statement. Okay. So for this reason, we are using if and else statement. Clear? Bujala? Yes, sir. Then now next part is we're using if and else statement. So as when your condition is false, it doesn't show any value. So for that reason, we're using else statement. So for the else statement, like are you using here?
कंडीशन ई एक्स वन Okay, now check here. This is a program. Age is eighteen. If your age is greater than uh, eight eighteen, then you are eligible for vote. Or else, it is showing you you are not eligible for vote. Now, So it's saying you you are not eligible for vote. The else part is execute. Okay, so here your condition is false. So when your condition is false, then else part is execute. Clear? Bujara, this sir, Mr. Pailar. Yes, sir.
ଏଇଟା ପ୍ରୋବ୍ଲେମ୍ ହେଉଛି ओके सो नेक्स्ट पार्ट आई विल मूव दैट वी हैव टू चेक माय स्क्रीन इज विजिबल हेलो नो सर Screen is not visible. Now? Yes, sir. Okay, so now I go for a another example that is. even or odd number so here we are using a scanner class which is used to take the keyboard input from user तो इंपोर्ट जावा डॉट यूटिल डॉट स्कैनर आई एन टी नॉम स्कैनर आई इक्वल्स टू न्यू स्कैनर सिस्टम डॉट इन सिस्टम डॉट इन इज यूज्ड टू टेक द कीबोर्ड इंपोर्ट इट इज आस्किंग यू एंड इंटरनेट बहुत अनस्टेबल है ओके सो नाउ चेक दे स्क्रीन इज विजुअल Now it is visible. Yes, sir. That is scanner i equals to new scanner system dot in. That is asking you enter a number. So I, I will enter some value. Norm is equals to i dot next i n t. The next i n t is used to taking a key uh, that you already know. to store the to take the integer value and store in the variable we are using next int if norm modulo 2 is equals to equals to 0 so that number you have taken okay so if it is uh, divided by 2 and equals to equals to 0 then it is showing you number is even or else it is showing you number is odd so now
that is asking you enter a number suppose we pass here 42 that is showing you number is even okay suppose if i pass here java c or only you execute here enter a number suppose here i pass 40 39 and i showing you the number is odd okay is this up so here we are using a scanner class to take the keyboard input and check the value. Now I go for another example. We have to check for a leap year. For checking a leap year, here I use a scanner class scanner i equals to new scanner system dot in. So here we are passing a year. I am entering a year, and if your here I uh, accept the year, and it will check that your first condition is what check here. It is your first condition. I just break break down it. <coughs> Excuse me. It is first check that year modulo four is equal to equal to zero, and year modulo hundred is not equal to zero. Okay, your modulo of four is equal to equal to zero, and your modulo of four is not equal to zero. Then it is called as the leap year. Now check it. Like it, it got a condition right now. So first check curry was a. This one, it is one condition. First, it will check the year that you have passed. This divisible by four, and year modulo 100 is not equal to zero, or year the year that you have passing this modulo 400 
and remainder is zero, then it is showing you leap year, or else it is not showing you the leap year. Bujala? It is a condition, a condition. Either a condition true of a condition true of a talamata leap year will be so for you. Bujala? Yes, sir. Okay, so it is all about today class. Tomorrow, I will <clears throat> show you the other programming and switch case. Okay. Yes. Good night. Thank you, sir.